I remember back in 2015 when Jill called me and let me know that I wasn't on the roster for the World Cup. I remember my heart stopping for a split second and it hurt a lot. I felt like I wasn't a good player. That thought kept going through my mind was, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. She's had a lot of challenges in her career. She's had some struggles with the U.S. Now she's getting her flow. I mean, she can play left back, she can play forward, she can play in the midfield for her club team and then go to USA the next week and play in the back. She's a utilitarian because of everything she's been through. Crystal's versatility is unlike anybody else's. She's so well-rounded. Her traits are so applicable to so many positions that it almost is like, well, where should she be? She should be everywhere. Oh, my favorite word, versatile. <laughs> is it a blessing? Is it a curse? I'm still conflicted all the time about it. I think I do lean towards it's a blessing. I love it. I love it. And then there are parts of me that thinks, why me, though? Why, why can't I just play one position, work on it, get really good at it, just like everyone else? I think I've turned that corner in my career, and I've realized that it's made me me. Switching from being up top to in a back line, it is a hard transition. It's a completely different mindset. It's a completely different way to defend. It's a completely different approach in all ways. I never really saw myself as an outright defender. I used to get so caught up in, I have to be like this person, I have to be like this player, and it took away my happiness of playing the game because I was constantly comparing myself. But now when I'm told, hey, you're being dropped here, you're being dropped there, I'm like, okay, you're gonna see Crystal Dunn, the best midfielder she can be, the best forward she can be, the best defender she can be. And yes, there's positions that I'd prefer to play over others, but these are things that I, I can't control. Just like in 2015, I couldn't control not making a roster. I think that her goals and what she really wants and what's important to her is this more grounding thing that enables her to just say, this is gonna be hard, but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it with a smile. I wanna be on every single team I'm on. I wanna make an impact, and especially on the national team. If I'm told, hey, we want you to play here, I'm like, great, as long as I'm playing. That has to be my mindset. Ultimately, it's the game I love, and I have to just take that approach or else it will drive me insane. <laughs>